Filipino version in the description. Schizo. The queen of the southern seas, Kadita, was once a very beautiful princess in a kingdom located on a small island. She is known to be a kind-hearted, intelligent, and caring person. The whole kingdom looks at her with great admiration and respect. However, little does she know, her life was about to change forever. Being the royal heir to the throne of the kingdom, there are some who grew jealous of her and plans to ruin her. One of which is a relative of hers and part of the royal family, who also has a claim to the throne. One day, this relative of hers conspired with a dark mage and planned to get rid of Kadita once and for all. They laced Kadita's drink with a powerful dark magic, which caused Kadita to fall under a powerful curse. Her smooth and flawless skin has turned gray and became covered with boils. Her hair turned dull and lifeless. Her fingernails grew like that of a wild animal. Her once beautiful and charming face became grotesque and frightening. Every sorcerer and healer all over the kingdom tried their best to help Kadita, but each of them failed to lift the curse. As days go by, the people's affection for Kadita faded. The respect and admiration of her people turned into disgust and hate until one day, the kingdom grew to dislike Kadita and completely turned their backs on her. This caused Kadita great sorrow and sadness. Feeling betrayed by her own people, Kadita decided just to end her pain and suffering. She walked over the edge of the island, staring deep into the dark ocean, remembering all the pain and suffering she felt and will still continue to endure. She jumped off the cliff and faced her end into the deep, dark ocean. Right before she passes out, ocean demons came to her aid, and upon awakening, she realized that her silky smooth skin has been restored. Her once beautiful and charming appearance has returned. These demons not only saved Kadita's life, they were also able to break the curse on her using the magical trident hidden beneath the ocean. The flames of hope began to burn inside Kadita's heart. Her suffering was finally over, and for once in her life, she was truly free. Free from the selfishness and corruption of the humans on the surface. As time goes by, she slowly mastered and enhanced her magical abilities, which was given to her by the ocean demons, until she became adept in manipulating the ocean waters and even the weather itself. Kadita was then hailed as Queen of the Southern Seas. One day, a royal ship sailed through the Southern Seas. On board the ship is the Dark Mage and the members of the royal family who conspired against Kadita. Filled with rage, Kadita exacts her revenge on those who caused her great pain and suffering. A powerful storm came out of nowhere and tore the ship into shreds, and all of Kadita's enemies were swallowed by the ocean. Sailors and fishermen all over the world came to fear the southern seas and the mermaid who reigns over it. Most of them steer clear from this place. However, there are still some who dare challenge the queen's wrath. Sightings and encounters with this mystical creature became more and more common. Some say that Kadita is a terrifying sea monster. Others say that she's even more beautiful than the princess she was before. And some even claim that Kadita has collected all seven legendary spears from the seven seas and uses them as her weapons, and that each of these spears has its own unique ability which further enhance the queen's power. These stories turned into legend, but one thing's for sure, the story of Kadita is a warning to all evildoers who plan to disturb the southern seas. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe to get notified for the next episode. My name is Kizo, the Lord of Lords.